Hi, you guys. Hi. <laughs> what? All right, so long time no see YouTube. It's been forever since I made a video, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so what we're doing today is we're answering some of the questions that we received about Nick's promotion, and so I guess we'll just get started. Let's see, what do we have? All right, so there is mostly questions about salary, pay increases, and um, scheduling. So let's see. Um, all right, so I guess let's talk about the schedule. Will you have a different schedule now that you were promoted? We gotta edit this part out. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to ask me first. You got to give me... Okay, so we're talking your, about your schedule. I know, but you have to give me... I wish I had an itinerary in front of me. Because it's hard to just... Um, what's the word? I don't ad-lib very well. Your itinerary. slide. I don't think that was in frame, so that wasn't a, that didn't get caught. I'll look at him back there. Yeah, the he's, hater. He's in the movie. Okay. Okay. All right. Question one. Uh, will you have a different schedule? Are we just keeping that intro from before? Yeah. Okay. Um, what? Well, now I have to say the question again. <laughs> All right, question one. Will you have a different schedule? Okay, so, um... <laughs> I'm terrible at this. You're a point for this. This Keep is the going. worst. Okay, so, um, for the past year I've been working, um, I work four tens every week. So I had three days off and then I worked uh, four ten hour shifts and then three days off. Um, that was, that's been my schedule for, I think since October of last year, I want to say. Um, I transferred to a new store this past, uh, March and I kept the same schedule. So, but with the promotion, um, it does require me to work an extra 10 hours a week. Um, so I will have to work five tens. Um, so that will impact the schedule. I will be picking up, um, Sundays, which, um, was normally our family day. But um, it, that, that part's sort of out of my control. So I'll be working Sundays and I have um, ideally Monday, Tuesday off. So that's what my schedule will look like. Ideally Sunday, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, number two. Will childcare be impacted by your promotion? Um, no, because um, we're really fortunate in that um, my mother watches Hannah on the days that both of us are at work. Um, she will did so prior to promotion my mom still had hannah three days a week yeah so that's the same my mom still has her three days a week yeah. two days with me two days with mom and then then we're all we're all set yep yeah. so. so we're still good so to go no in, no impact all right number three what is your current job and what does the promotion consist of um so i work in food service i've been an assistant manager at a, a store it's a corporate franchise um Current job is um, what we call a level four AM, which is assistant manager. This um, this company tiers their assistant managers into four levels, one through four. I've been a level four for um, geez, I want to say since January, where so they were gonna basically once you're level four, they can try to get you into a, your own store as soon as possible. But there hasn't been a whole lot of growth since COVID in terms of um, opening new positions, even though our business and sales has skyrocketed. Right. Um, but they're finally kind of um, kicking that into gear, opening new places, and uh, people are promoting out, and those positions are opening up. So that is the position that I got. I'm taking over for a GM, which will be my current role. Um, I'm taking over for a GM that got promoted. Anyway, it was supposed to be six months, but because of management changes and COVID and all that, yeah. it was 
over two years, but you know, we're there now. And so we're really excited about that. Yeah, 2020 was rough Yeah. <laughs> for everybody. All right, um, here's everyone's favorite question. What will your salary increase look like? Okay, so I'm moving um, from an hourly rate to a salary, um, yeah, to salary, salary. pay. Um, that is gonna be a base pay of $48,000 a year um, with a maximum bonus potential of um, 12, 50 times 2, 25. Maximum bonus potential of 50,000 per year. Um, I don't expect to get 50,000 a year in bonuses. Um, that is basically everything running perfectly, which you can't account for. Um, my conservative estimate is 65,000. Total. Yeah, a year. Um, shooting for 70. Which just, it's, it's crazy to me because there were so many years where total, as a household, we didn't bring in over 50. Mm -hmm. So it's like crazy. Um, so and it's gonna go really far for us, definitely. So we're looking at at least an increase of a thousand per month, not including bonuses. So for us, that's like huge. We're gonna be able to do so much with that. And I'll, I'll mention that the person I am taking over for is making, I think about 80. 80,000 a year with her bonuses. So um, I'm not gonna do as well as her off the bat, but um, that definitely she sets the threshold that um, is definitely possible in that position in the store I'm taking over. All right, now what are your plans for your excess funds? What are your plans? Um, so as you guys might have known, um, Pokemon cards are in a huge <laughs> oh my God. right now. <laughs> and I definitely plan on sinking a lot of money into Pokemon cards. Um, so that I'm looking forward to that. I have a Pokemon card room idea. We're gonna turn the upstairs second bedroom into a Pokemon card room where we're gonna just line the walls with holographics and uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be real tits. <laughs> so basically we're gonna pay off our student loans with the extra. Yeah, after whatever I don't spend on the Pokemon cards, we'll go through. I still make not, the minimums on the student loans. We're not buying Pokemon cards, I swear to you. Um, <laughs> oh, and then so, I didn't write it down, but some people asked, um, so excess funds, if we had any like big purchases in mind. Um, really the only big purchase that I had was this camera that we're using right now to shoot this video, but I just bought that with my, um, my uh, summer school money the, for teaching summer school. Um, so really, we don't really have any big purchases. I do have plans for our master bathroom, but that'll that'll wait for a little while. We'll probably roll any like... Um, like cash flow. Yeah, any, what's the word? Like home repairs. Yeah, any home improvements and stuff. And did the same thing we've been doing for the past four or six years. Yeah. Um, so that's not gonna be ever a lump sum stuff. We don't have any major appliances or anything big to purchase anywhere on the horizon. Well, you do have one, a stove. It's not, no. it's not What's like our budget a for a stove? It's not even that high. Like 400? Yeah, that's not a big stove. Yeah, so I'm just saying there it's is an appliance purchase. Um, if we're gonna put any money towards the house on anything, it would probably be yard work, I think. Oh, like like regular yard work is what you're saying? Oh, like hiring somebody hiring to take the trees that I want so badly gone. Oh yeah, he hates our palm trees. So, um, so many of you guys love those palm trees, so but this guy I would despises love, them. I would love those trees to be gone, so that'd be cool. But um, yeah, other than that, we um, intend to live within the same means we have oh, been yeah. living in for this whole time. I'm not gonna start um, increasing Besides spending. Besides the Pokemon cards, apparently. Yeah, we're not gonna be increasing spending for the, um, you know, for the increase in salary, mm -hmm. so everything extra that we make will be going towards debt and uh, it'll just speed up that process. Yeah, and then uh, finally, how does this impact your debt-free date? So I've honestly never calculated our debt-free date. Um, so when we first started this, I had what, like $200 a month to go towards debt and the rest of it was just minimum payments and like staying afloat. And so at that point, even just adding up like, you know, just the credit cards that we had, that itself was overwhelming and I've, I've shared it before, we weren't like huge spenders. It was just like college textbooks, car repairs, like a lot of that stuff that added up. 
Um, and so yeah. just adding that together and figuring out how long it was going to take for us to pay just that off was super overwhelming. And so I never sat down and calculated like, okay, we're going to be debt free in 2028, you know, cause that just made it seem so much more intimidating. Okay. So basically I've never calculated the date. Mm -hmm. Um, I did, I have plugged stuff into undebit. It's a website. I can put it in the, I can link it down below. Um, and it's, it's completely free and it really helps you figure out like how long it's going to take you to pay stuff off. And now that we've just got student loans left, basically, well, we do have the van payment now, but the interest rate on it is so low and the monthly payment's only two forty a month. So it's not something that we're just itching to pay off first. Have you told them what we did with the van swapping student loans pretty much? We basically used the van to refinance student loans. Have you told them about that? No, because I'm confused on what you mean by that. So instead of me using the car money for the accident to put straight towards the van, which was the original oh, plan, okay, yeah. we didn't do that, kept the entire amount of the van at the right. low interest rate and put all that towards student loans. Right. So I don't know if I did mention that, so. but when he got his settlement check for mm -hmm. the, the car that was totaled in the accident, um, instead of just using that money to purchase a new car, we used that money to go towards his student loans, his private ones that yeah. have a high interest rate. And then ref and then finance the van right. at a low interest rate, essentially refinancing the student loans with, yeah, now I, now I get with an auto loan with, that was, you know, obviously much better. Right. And so the interest rate on his loans is like what? 10%? Yeah. 10.6 10. on average. Yeah. Right. And the, the van is like what? 3 points. No, I think it was like 2.69 or something. Is it under it's, three? Yeah. Yeah. It's so something really it was low. obviously way, a way better financial decision. Right, and so that monthly payment's only two forty. So now we're just gonna not we're not gonna pay that off for now. We're just gonna focus on student loans. And the monthly payments on the student loans that I paid off added together to like, be almost. It was like two hundred, wasn't it? No, it was over two two forty because it'd be over what the van ended up covering. Oh, okay. So I mean, yeah. So that's good. Yeah, all it was around. high. It was three. It was three something. It's good all around. Okay. <clears throat> um. Shauna wants to know how much notice she you sh she should give when she has a pizza party. Um, if it's just for her classroom, then I like, said like one day the day before. Yeah, be and there you go. <laughs> oh, will Nick have more vacation time to spend with you and Hannah now? So, yes, I have. Um, did you want to like ask that question like officially? The well, that was camera? the official question. I know, but did you want to like present that question or no? Nah. Just use that. Just, uh... Okay, whatever. Um, uh, so I was um, at my previous. Hold on, I gotta get my thoughts in a row. <laughs> Basically, I have vacation balance hours that I could use um, before my promotion um, that are easier to use because I'm not a GM. I have more hours to use as a GM, but less actual time to free use ties them. And free time to use them. Yeah. So yeah, I'll have over a hundred hours for vacation time. Is that because you're getting additional hours as a GM or is that just what you would get? No, I wouldn't get a hundred hours as an AM. I only get 40 caps out of 40. No. So I'm saying like, did you get 60 as? Yeah. So it's 60 plus the 40 mm -hmm. equals a hundred. Yeah. Do you have to use them this year? Um, or you they, use them? they just initiated the, um, uh, policy where um some of your vacation hours r will roll over some but not all yeah some oh, but not okay. all i have no, i don't have the details on that but so yeah i'll have a lot of vacation time to use but i don't know when i'll be able to actually use them right because not anytime soon um you know I, like i mentioned i work in the um, food service industry and um a lot of you might have noticed there is a nationwide staff shortage in the food service industry um and that's centered around the, the minimum wage argument. Um, but yeah, in short, I don't have the staff. No stores have the staff right now for their managers to be taking vacations. Yeah. So, so he's got the hours, yeah. but when he can use them, that is the question. Okay. See anything else? That was a good question. Um, I don't know if they want to know, but I even as a GM of my store, I do not have the freedom to pay my employees what I want. Oh, okay. I have yeah. to. I have to pay them a minimum wage. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. some people might have the uh, you know advice to pay them more, and I can't. Ooh, here's one. What are you going to pay off first? 
smallest student loans first. So we've yeah, each I've, got several that are under three thousand. Yeah, I have two so personal. So we'll be able to. I have two personal that. Um, you mean private? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, whatever. Yeah, two private loans left, total, in private loans. So those would be gone first, especially because those are the highest interest rates. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll avalanche and snowball at the same time. Um. And you, yeah, we already answered that question. So yeah, that's about it. And then, I don't know if they follow. Some of you probably do follow my page, and oh yeah, you know I have all like my gaming hobby stuff. Um, so if I was gonna make, I don't have any big purchases for the promotion that I want because um, any big purchase that I would want would be too expensive, even for that right now. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I definitely might treat myself to a couple small things with that first paycheck. Okay, like Pokemon cards. No. Oh, that was a lie? That was a lie. Oh, okay. Yu-Gi-Oh cards is the word okay. Oh my god. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I don't check the comments so much on YouTube because it's scary, but I check them all on Instagram. So if you have a question, just let us know. Toxic people on YouTube, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Better okay. than Twitter. But yeah. Bye.